Hello my friends, welcome to Painting with Harold and tonight I am using a 16 by 20 canvas that's turned on portrait and I have it covered with a thin, very thin, even coat of liquid clear and we have a pretty simple palette tonight. Our colors are going to be titanium white, Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, and black. Now, the black I'm using is I took some alizarin crimson and some phthalo green. And over here, I just half and half, it, the same amount of green as alizarin. Mixed them together and got me a black. That's why it looks all raggedy. And uh, brought it over here, cleaned my palette up, and ready to paint something. I'm going to attempt to do a little winter scene here. It hopefully will come out looking pretty decent. And the first thing I'm going to do, take me a two inch brush, come right up here into this black, pull me a little out, and just tap right into it. That's all I'm going to do. And the reason, the reason I went with uh, liquid clear is I want my colors tonight to uh, kind of stay kind of true. I don't want them to, I don't want them to fade out and uh, let the liquid white blend with them because this black would have turned gray and uh, you know how it does when it mixes with colors. It just changes the colors. It allows you to blend colors on the canvas, but liquid clear does the same thing, and it don't affect your colors. That way, if you get ready to change to a a new color, you kind of have to you kind of have to do it yourself. Now, when you're mixing those two colors together that I used, the uh, green, the thalo green, and the lizard, you want to mix those colors very, very good. You don't want to leave a marble, or you'll end up with different colors up here, and that's not the effect you want. All right, I'm going to leave a brush just like it is with the same amount of black on it. I'm not going to clean it. I'm going to come right over here into my blue, pull a little lid out, and then I'm going to come right into my crimson and pull a little lid out, and then I'm going to mix them right on the brush. And by mix them, all I mean is I'm going to tap right into them, just the blue and the crimson. And then I'm going to go up here first and test the color. And that's about what I'm looking for. I want a dark purple color because I want to put just a hint of it up here. And see, that's way to the blue side, and that's what I wanted. That is a dark, dark, deep purple color. And I'm still going to bring it up into the black zone and just kind of loosely work it around, about like so. All right, then I'm going to come back in just the crimson, and I'm going to tone it down some. I'm going to make it a lighter color now. Now, see, it's more to the crimson side, about like so. And then I'm going to bring some of it up, too. Just pull it up to the, at random, just pull it up through here. And then get easier with my strokes as I come down. I like so. And about like that's what I'm looking for. Let me see what these colors. Yeah. See that is a very, very dark sky. And that's that's what I'm going for. I want a very dark color up here. Alright, I am going to knock some paint out of this brush since it's loaded. 
There's a good bit of pain in there. But I'm not going to clean it. I'm just going to knock a lot of the color out. That's all I'm going to do. Just dragging across this napkin until I pull a good bit of color out. Then I'm going to hang on to it. Alright. Now I'm going to pick me up a one inch brush. And let me get my mess cleaned up over here. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go right into a titanium white. And I'm going to pull my brush through it. And I want to load it up. Just like so. I want to get I want to get a good bit of paint on them bristles. And I want to start. Let's just start right in here. And I just want to come up here and just, just go in here and just make some circles with that white. That's all I want to do. Just circles. Big old circles. Just circle it around. Just like so. I guess if uh, if you was watching Bill Alexander, he would say, uh, "What did he always say?" He said, "Fire in" or something like that. He, he would get real excited about it. But that's all I wanted to do was what we just did right there. And then I'm gonna, all right. I gotta get me some more napkins, paper tiles here. Tear off a couple. Then I'm going to knock a little color off that brush. And I'm going to, all right, I tell you what, I'm going to pick to take my knife and just move some of this white over. That way if I get another color in it, I won't have it all the same color. And I don't want to contaminate it. So I moved a little white over and I'm going to come in and just tap a little more on this same brush. All I did was just knock a little color out of it, get some more white on it, and just come up here and just make some more circles. That's all I'm doing. Just making some circles. Just like so. Just like that. That's all I want to do. Then I'll drop it in the thinner. Alright, now, this brush that I had a minute ago that's got all the dark colors in it. I want to come up here, and I just want to, I just want to lightly hypnotize these colors, just real light, just pull across them, real light, just like so. Looking for that, looking for that effect, like, like there's just far off clouds up there. Then I am going to pick up a fan brush, a number six. And I got one in here somewhere. I gotta find it. Well, I said I did. I know I do. I'm going to take that, that number six fan brush and I'm going to go into the white just like we always load it. And I'm going to load it with the, just the same white that I got over here pulled to the side. <coughs> and I'm going to take it and just kind of just dance it around. Just here and there. Just like so. Then come in here. And this color's gonna change. It's got all kind of colors in it now. Blue and lavender. I just wanna come back up here and just hit around with it. Just like so. Just just anywhere. It don't it don't even matter. Just anywhere you wanna do it. Right, I'll drop it in the brush in the thinner. Then I'm gonna take that same brush that's got all these dark colors in it. And now I'm going to come up here and I just want to lightly, real lightly this time, 
go over all of these and just make them little circles. Just anywhere and everywhere. Just making little circles. But I want them I want them to be a little brighter this time. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna fluff them up in places and just real lightly. Now at this point we got a lot of paint up here, so we gotta really blend across here real lightly. And I just want to set all these colors right down in the sky. Just like so. Just like that. That's what I'm looking for. And if you want to, you can come over here and pick up just a little bit of color that's left and just you can bring it up here and in the corners and fill in some of these some of these dark spots just to make your sky look complete. Because at this point you're not going to kill all the dark now. Because the dark is real important up here but so is the light because you do want it to look like clouds up here. I just don't want them to be real, real vivid, easy seen, puffy looking clouds everywhere. I just want them, I just want them in there so you can see what they are. All right, now I'm gonna clean that brush that had all that dark color on it. best I can with my left hand. And just beat the devil out of it. Right, and dry that brush off. Alright, and as you can see right here, I got a mess. <laughs> I got all these colors mixed up. Alright, now I'm going to come in here and I want to pick up just a little of the Prussian blue. I hope I said Prussian blue when we first started, not phthalo blue. But this is Prussian blue. And I'm tapping just a little of it on the brush. Then we'll come right here under my under my lavender color. And I just wanna I just wanna come across with some blue in here. Just to have some color. Because I know at some point we're gonna we're gonna need some color in here. About like so. And then as we start going down, we can let it we can start letting it get a little darker in places. Because remember we don't have our uh, we don't have our liquid white up here, so it's not gonna it's not going to change colors on us like normal. And that's good. We don't need it to. All right, then I'm going to pick up just a little bit of black and bring it over here into Thalo Blue and just mix these two colors right on the brush. I want more blue than I do black. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to let, let it get real dark. Right down here at the bottom. Just like so. And then I'll start working it up. And then as I go up, I'll get a little lighter so that black don't take over the blue. And if it ends up with a few streaks in it, well, that's just a bonus. But for the most part, I want it to be, I just want it to be darker down here at the bottom. And ease off the strokes as I go up. Just like so. That's all I'm looking for. All right, I got a hair right there. I'm gonna get off. Not like that. That's all we're looking for. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're probably thinking, Harold, what in the world are you doing tonight? But I got an idea, and if it works, I think it'll be. 
I think it'll look pretty good if it works. And if it don't, y'all won't see it, so it don't matter. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take my knife. I'm gonna come in here to my black, just the black, and I'll pull it out real flat, like always. And I'm gonna pick up just a little roll of just solid straight black. And I'm doing that the same way we always do it. Anytime we get black, or anytime we making the snow on the mountain, you know, when you pull it out flat, that's all I did, same thing. And if I do anything different, I will pick the palette up and show y'all. And if you have not painted with me before, you can go see any of my videos that are step by step, and they'll show you basically how I did this. All right, I'm gonna come right up here in the sky. I'm just gonna come, say this is halfway. I'm just gonna come a little left of half. And I'm gonna come up here and I just wanna, I just wanna start coming down with a, with a mountain shape. Just, and I'm not being careful how I do this tonight. Cause this painting is gonna be, this is gonna be a little different style painting than what, than what we normally do. It's gonna be, going to be a little, a little freer in style. It's going to almost look like, like we don't care what we're really doing, but we do. But instead of being all uptight and scared of making mistakes, we're just going to come up here and we're just going to make, we're just going to come up here and make, just do whatever we want to do up here. And we're not gonna real, really worry about, you know, is that right or is that right? We're just gonna come up here and, and have some fun tonight. That's all we're gonna do. Just put some, some bumps and bruises on our little mountains up here. And just, just pull that color in. Get it good and black. And we'll come over here. And we'll just join it together with that and pull that across like so. And see, just like that, we got we got a mountain range laid up here. And we'll pull all that color off that knife that I can on the palette. Then I'm going to take a paper towel, clean it off, and then I'm going to come back up here, and I just want to start working on the edges now, just just rough, roughly. I don't want to, I'm not going to scrape them just yet. I want to come up here now and just kind of caress the edges to where I get them all bumpy and, and rough looking. Because that's where the majority of the paint is. It's out here on the outside edge. See how much paint come off? And I'm not even trying to remove paint yet. All right. And then I'll, I'll work through this black again. And just kind of pull it around. Pull it down into the into the color, and I'm just pulling it straight down with my knife over here. I'm not taking any off on purpose yet. I'm just moving it. That's all I'm doing. Just moving this color. Just trying to get it to show some. See if I see a spot that's straight, I'm going to come in there and, and rough it up some. I don't want no, I don't want a whole lot of straight lines in this mountain, in these mountains. I want them to be, I want them to be rough looking. Alright, then I'll knock that color off. And then I'm going to take that one inch, uh, two inch brush that we used Put all this color in, and I'm going to wash it right quick. And I have got some more brushes laying over here, 
but I don't want to I don't want to get a lot of dark color on a lot of brushes tonight. show you. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get me just a little more clean white and I'll bring it right here. That's fine. And I'm going to pull it down as flat as I can get it so I can start working out of it. And I'm going to pick me up just a, just a roll of white. Now you see how rough that looks and I left, I left paint all over it. I did that for a reason. I didn't take a brush this time and come in here and pull it out or nothing. I want this black paint to be up here. And you'll see why here in just a second. And I'm going to come up here on this white. I mean with this white. And I just want to. I just want to start pulling it down. Just real lightly. Just like so. See how I did that? Then I'll come over here, just anywhere I can, anywhere, it don't matter, because all I'm doing now is just trying to get rid of this white, that's all I'm doing, and I'm laying that knife down flatter and flatter when I pull that color off, then I'm going to come in here and knock that color off, come over here and give me a little more white, and come back up in the top here. Come down, just like so. Now, if you pull that, if you pull that white too much up here, you're gonna you're gonna start picking up the black under it, and it's gonna go gray on you. And if it does that, don't panic. We can fix that if that happens. And then we're just gonna come up here and do the same thing again. Just see how it turned gray right there at the bottom? Which is not a big deal where it did it right there. Then we'll come up to the top up here. And I just want to pull this color out. Just, just leaving that leaving that paint on just as, as thick as you can get it up here. I'm not even... I'm not even concerned that it's all rough looking right like that right now. Alright, then we'll come over here. And we'll do the same on this one. Just start pulling it down. And I'm gonna have to get me a little more white out. I figured I would. Put just a little more out. Okay, they got us under tornado watches here tonight. So if uh, something happens and we have a bad storm and it knocks the power out or whatever, I'll uh, which I'll have to quit anyway. But I'll try to remember where we was at and what we was doing, and I'll try to. Uh, start everything back from that from that point. I don't wanna I don't want y'all to lose nothing or miss nothing. Alright, shall we got all that color broke up there now? I'm gonna come over here now and pick up just a little bit of the Thalo blue. I mean the Prussian blue. Put the hair in there. It ain't gonna take a lot of blue. I'm going to bring it over to the side, give me a little white, mix it together. I'm 
then I'll put just a little bit of black in it to kind of gray it down some. That way we got a kind of a, and I want to marble mix this. I want to leave this color, I want to leave it uh, marble. Let me show you. See how it is? How it's all blue and black and white? That's how I want to leave it. I don't want to mix it to where it's all one color. Then I'm going to come up here. Let's see. I'll start with the little edge of my knife. Then I'm going to come in here and with this white, I just want to come in with this color. I just want to come in here and just touch it around and pull it down. Just like so. And just like always, if you get over into your other color, don't don't panic. We can work around that in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna come up here, start pulling this color down. I just don't want to be, I just don't want to be super careful tonight with everything. I want to have some fun tonight. I just want to, just want to put these colors up here and. and let them do what they're going to do and then move on to something else and not have one of these uptight kind of paintings to where we got to worry about every little move we make and, you know because I really think that messes a lot of people up and I just I'd like for people to notice that you know sometimes sometimes you don't have to you don't have to worry about every little thing you do. Just, just pick up your paint and have some fun. And let whatever happens, happen. Because most of the time, if you're trying hard, that's what's going to happen anyway. You know, whatever, you, whatever you're trying to do, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen regardless. Alright, now. <laughs> and again, I know what y'all thinking. Y'all probably thinking, what in the world is he doing? All right, so now I'm gonna come back up here with some white, and everywhere I got the blue that I don't want, and I'm just gonna cover it up. And then I can come over here and straighten my ledge up, just by pulling that color down, just like so. I don't have to, I don't have to be real careful with it right now, cause it just. It's not that important yet. And then we can come in here and give this some some more spots like so. Alright, now this is when the fun starts. I'm going to pick up just a regular fan brush and I'm going to take that fan brush and up here on the shadow color on the shadow side I'm going to come up here into this white and just I'm just going to come in here in places and I'm just going to touch up that edge and I want to I want to roughly pull that white over and down into my into my other color and here in just a second. All right, now, right here, see there's not a lot of white there to grab. So just come down here in one of these dirty piles and just get you some white on the corner. And come up here and just, just pull you some white into it. And then come along that edge and just kind of pull it like that. And this all makes sense here in a few minutes. And then we want to do the same thing over here. Just Pull a little of this white in, just like so. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some more of our shadow color, and I don't want a lot of it, just a little. And I'm still going to keep it on that little end. I'm going to come back up here under some of this and I just want to I just want to pull this out this shadow color 
and just pull it out as much as we can in here. And just, just like so. Put a little white. And come back up here and kind of come back across and just put some more white out here on this one. Then I'm going to come right up here into the black, just straight black. Then I'm going to bring that black over here and just lay it in here in a couple places. Just, just lay it in here on that shadow side. And then take your big edge of your knife and just kind of slowly work it down. Just real easy. Get that, get that shadow side good and dark. And if you get some white in there, you can come back and just kind of pull it out. And then on this side, you can use just a straight black. You can come in here and just start putting some in over here. And you can pick you up a little more white and come in here and fix it. Just like so. All up through here. Just kind of pull that color out and let it, just kind of let it mix. Just like so. Same thing over here. About like that. And this is some very, very rugged mountains. Very rugged mountains. And just come in here now and just kind of smooth it all down. Just like so. I just wanted a, we just want a dark color mountain up against that, up against that sky where that shadow is. We can't have a, like a baby blue shadow in here because we don't have a lot of light up here. So all over in here, you know, where the, where the color is, just, just kind of let it. Just kind of let it pull off that knife in places. That's all you got to do. And by pulling it down like that, in a in a you know free style like it, it just gives your mountains just a big time rougher look. They just look more rocky. And you can come up here now with a clean, dry two-inch brush and come across the bottom because this color is gray and white mixed. And just, just kind of tap it out a little across the bottom. It don't take much, just a real light tap, as always. And tapping in the same direction that we, that we uh, pull our color down. Same angle. And we'll come over here and get a little of this. Just like so. And now we'll very lightly pull up into our mouth. Just very lightly. And that'll smooth some of that color out. And it'll pull some of that mist color up. See how it's doing that? Just smoothing that bottom out and just making it look like it's just real real misty back in there. It gives that gives that mountain that that effect. Alright, 
and just come across here. And just work it up. Not like so. That's not what we're looking for. Alright, now I'm going to take another number six fan brush. And we'll come over here, right into straight black. Man, if I had to make some more of this color for it's over. <coughs> Alright, we'll come over here and we'll just start doing us some some tabby trees with the straight black just all different sizes some taller than others and the only thing you wanna the only thing you wanna be mindful of is back here you got that mist so whatever you do don't kill all of it you know let, let some short trees kinda show that mist and let some of the taller trees cover it up a little. But for the most part, just uh, just don't kill it all. You want some of that mist. And all I'm doing is just loading this fan brush up with my hand disappears with the same color. Just going back into the black. About like so. And then just kind of even. Even them up across the bottom the best you can. Not like that. And that's all we're trying to do. Go ahead and wash it right quick. Alright, now this next step might get a little tricky, but if we uh be careful with it, we'll beat it. Let me clean this brush up. Okay. Now I'm gonna pick me up a little stiffer fan brush, number three. And we'll come up here. Load it up with white. And I want to come across the bottom here. And I just want to touch it on all the way across the bottom, just like this. And, you know, if you can keep it from you can keep it from going too gray, that's good. You don't want it, you don't want it real gray. So just tap it on across here just like so. Alright, then knock as much of it out as you can with your on your paper towel over here. And then very lightly, very lightly, come up here and just start pulling that white up. Right into the well, it needs to be straighter than what I'm doing. Just pull it straight up into these trees. Just straight up. Just like so. Just pull it straight up. And that does a couple things once we get it smooth enough here. If I can keep it straight. Paint from an angle is a lot harder than than might. Okay. Alright, that gives us the indication of little trunks in between them but it's also fixing to give us a indication of some snow because of what we're going to do on this next step right here. I'm going to pick up a one inch brush now and I'm going to take it and I'm going to just tap straight down into some white. That's all I'm doing. Just load that brush up with white. That's all it is. Come right here at the bottom and just, you can go that way or that way. It don't really, it's, it's totally up to you. 
which way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle right here and I'm just going to come across here, down and back up like that. And then we'll come over here and then we'll come down and back up just like so. And then I'll start just pulling that across. And then I'm going to come in here and just start pulling this white in and see what it did when it got to that to that black right there where that black was getting into the into the colors all right then we just let this kind of kind of let it fade out through here Just like so. And that'll lighten that blue color down some. But it's still giving us enough shadow that we know it's there. Alright, I'll drop that brush into thinner. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna pick up a small number three uh, fan brush. And I'm going to come right over here into the dark colors that we made earlier, the blue and the black and the crimson all together. And if we end up with a lavender color here or black, whatever, it don't matter. Whatever color we end up with is the color we're going to use. And I'm using this little brush because I'm going to come right over here, right outside the mountain. And I'm going through all that paint. And that's a lot of paint. I'm going to come right down into this snow right here. About like that. And if you've ever watched me paint, or if you've ever painted yourself, or if you've ever watched another YouTube painter, you know how we always make these evergreen trees? Well, we're going to do this a little different today. I'm going to come right up here with the corner of this brush, and I'm going to start tapping and I'm just going to tap. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to go back and forth this time. I'm just tap in the center. And the further I come down, the harder I'm going to tap. I'm not going back and forth. I'm just tapping. That's all I'm doing. And like I said, the further I come down, the harder I'm tapping. And you'll see what it's doing here in just a second. See, it made a long, tall, skinny type evergreen. And if it's not dark enough, come up here with some more dark color and just, just tap it on in. Now, I didn't sit there and go back and forth, back and forth like we normally do. I just stayed in the center, tapping lightly, and then just tapping harder as I come down. And I know right in here you can't see what's happening but when we come back to highlights you'll be able to see it so I'm gonna come right back over here and like I said it don't matter what this color is you end up with you know if you end up with more blue more lavender more black it don't matter all we want is just a dark color I'm gonna come over here on this side and I'm gonna leave a little room in between them just like so And we're going to do the same thing again. Just going to start and, and just tap. And I'm not going side to side. I'm just tapping straight in the middle. And the further I come down, the harder I'm getting. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to take that brush off the off the canvas, I mean off to one side or the other. I'm just going to tap straight down. Just like that. And these are, these are just, I mean they're still evergreen trees. Not that, it, you know, they don't look green. I know that, but <laughs> they're, uh, I don't know. 
don't know how to say it. I don't know what kind of trees they are. I know they're just a skinny version of the trees we always make. You see them from time to time when you... Well, I don't. I see them only in pictures. Because we don't have these kind of trees here in Mississippi, but I've seen them in pictures, so... I know about how I want them to look when I'm painting them. And you know, somebody that lives where there's a lot of these trees at, they're probably thinking, no, I mean, how they supposed to look here? And you know, I can understand that if it's not, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want somebody telling me how a cypress tree looks, because, you know, I grew up trying to fish around them, and I know how a cypress tree is supposed to look. So if somebody was painting one that, that didn't look right, I'd say, no. It ain't so much a cypress tree. But anyway, all I'm doing, like I said, I'm just staying in the center. And I'm just tapping. And then as I get down toward the bottom, I'm just tapping a little harder. That's all I'm doing. Now, down here at the bottom, it's getting kind of ugly. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. It, it does not look right. But when we come back to highlight it, it shouldn't... Uh, it really shouldn't matter too much. Should. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to do another one right over here. I'm going gonna, gonna to bring him in here and just kind of let him fade out into this one. Like that. And then I'll bring another one off over here by itself. That way it'll give us that odd number. Because you know, in the art world, you're supposed to have odd numbers. I said I was going to research it, and I didn't. And I apologize for that. But here we go with one more. What y'all thinking? Y'all thinking why such a dark paint tonight? Well, y'all can blame this one on my wife. She said that I needed to paint something real winter like. Real cold looking is what she said. And I said, why? And she said, well, I just think you did. <laughs> I said, okay. So, if y'all don't like this one, I'm going to give y'all her email address. <laughs> All angry letters can be directed to her. I'm going to fix this one just a little bit. I got a little crooked on him. All right, now. So while, all right, I'm going to go ahead and drop that brush in the thinner. While I'm here, and while I'm working, I've got a two inch brush already. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to come up here and pick up just some of the, what was that? I guess that was the wind blowing outside. Wow. All right, I'm going to come up here and pick up some of the blue. Some of the black, some of the crimson. Just tap in all these colors across here. Just tap them. Not, not being careful at all. Uh oh. Look at there. Hmm. Now we got us a tree growing way down here. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna come right up here and oh boy, how am I gonna do this? Oh boy. Alright, I'm just going to start right here at the base of this mountain. And I'll just come over this way with it. 
come up into it just a little bit. Not like so. And I'll come down. And start coming out like so. In layers. See how I'm doing that? Coming out in layers here. Coming out a little bit, and then coming down, coming down a little further, like that. And I'm going to stop right in here. Just going to stop. Yeah, now I'll come back up here and get a little bit more darker color. And I'll come back up here and kind of make this darker. And I'm going to come under here with a layer. So, I'm going to stop that right there. <coughs> okay. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I did that. I don't have a clue. Right, I have to come up here and fix all this. I need up highlights. I am going to stop the video, wash some brushes, and go look outside and see what this weather's doing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got some brushes clean. And I looked outside, and I don't know. The wind's not blowing that hard, so I don't know what that live thud was. I don't know if y'all heard that on the camera or not, but anyway. Alright, what I did while I was cleaning brushes right after I got done, I took my my big knife and I dipped it down into my liquid white and I put some out on my canvas. And I can uh Okay, I just got a message now it said tornado emergency. Wow, I don't know what's going on because this it's not bad outside. Alright, I'm going to paint a few more minutes and maybe, maybe, uh, my wife's in there. Maybe she'll have her eye on the weather channel or something. I don't know. I'm almost wanting to quit painting, but, okay, I'm going to go right into my liquid white. And I can't pick this up and show you because it's, uh, liquid white and it run everywhere. But just imagine, all I'm going to do is tap, uh-oh, here we go. Hang on a minute here. I'm sorry about this. I should have stopped this video. Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this part right here, and then I think I will uh, stop it until until we get some kind of idea what's happening here because I don't know because I promise you I'm not seeing the I'm not seeing it looking out the door that was a storm chaser buddy of mine he uh he chases storms so if he's saying be worried then it kind of tells me something's up. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this. Let me pull this back up a little. Alright, I dipped it straight into the uh, liquid, I mean, yeah, the liquid white. Then I went into a little of the uh, titanium white. Because we got liquid clear up here, we can't use paint thinner. It's the only reason I'm using... Uh, liquid white. And I just got my brush loaded. Now with just a corner of that brush, I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to lightly tap. Just real lightly. Just real light. Now it's real important that we leave some darks now because uh, trying to form these bushes up here or these leaves to make it look like a tree covered in snow 
it's definitely going to have to have some spots in here that that show the uh, dark color now. And I'll just come in here. Now I did not put a trunk in this tree because I feel like it was going to get covered up. Okay, not like so. And I am going to I'm going to leave a little of the dark showing. I'm going to drop down a little bit and come under it and make just make some few more bushes and skip around up here and leave leave some indications of dark color here and there. And your brush will pick up some of the color and as it picks up that color don't let that worry you. Just keep working with that corner and you keep skipping around up here leaving yourself some dark. Just like so. It's, it's very important that you leave dark now even more than let me just peer this one a little bit more. Even more than when you're doing other colors. Alright, this color starts getting it starts getting gray and starts picking up those other colors that's mixed in. And that's not a bad thing. And just kinda be real careful up here not to let your brush pull. You want to come straight, tap in, and pull straight off. That's all you want to do. And that'll give all your little... That'll give all your little uh, bushes that kind of lacy look. Just push in and right back off. Alright, then I'll drop that one in the thinner. Then I'm going to come right up here. And I'm going to come right over here into my black color, or my dark color. And I'm going to get a little on my brush. And I'm going to come right up here in this white. And just start pulling some of this down. And out. Just like so. And I'm going to pull it down across here at an angle. See I'm swooping that down and I'm leaving some of that some of that dark color in there. And then I'm going to come back knock a little of that color off my brush come over here and me some liquid white and come right under here and start pulling it out like this and that'll give me that shadow color I need as I'm pulling out of the one of these bushes like so and I'm just dragging it across here then I'll pick up some thicker white which is the titanium white and as I get away from that shadow needing that shadow color I will let it get a little, a little whiter. See how I did that? And then up here, I'll just start kind of getting that lay of the land across here. Let it be darker up here, and then lighter out here so it represents snow just like so all right now I'm gonna hang on to that brush a second <coughs> and I'm gonna pick up my little filbert brush it's up here somewhere all right all right I got my filbert brush and I'm going to bring it over here in straight titanium, I mean straight liquid white. 
and come up here into the titanium white and mix it together on the brush. I want this, I just want to thin the white out, that's all. And I just got it loaded up with color. Then I'm coming right up here and I just want to real lightly just start tapping up here. Just right down the center. Just like how we made them. And as it goes to picking up that dark color, you can knock a little of it out. And you come pick you up a little more color. Just keep it kind of thin if you can. And then further you come down, you can start. That's a little too light. I shouldn't put it on that thick right there. But you can start just keeping you a little space. I just don't want these trees to be real wide. Because remember we made them to be we made them to be narrow trees. Uh oh, that's way too much. That's gonna mud up on me. I gotta fix that real quick. I'm going to bring some of that over here. I'm going to steal some of that. Move it around. Y'all see how I did that? Where that color it was real thick. I just come in there and let the brush soak up some of it. And I moved it. And if I don't, if I don't stay fixed, or as fixed as I want it. I'll show you here in a few minutes how to uh, fix it a little more. Alright, I just want to come in here and just make the indication of little little tree limb shapes. And we ain't done nothing yet we can't fix. Just remember that. And I'm just real, real lightly tapping. Just letting that brush make that that little bend down shape that represents the bristles or the needles. And I'm just being real gentle with it. Just tapping and lifting right back off. Just like so. And then I'll stop right there. Alright, now right up here before it got real dark, I'll come back. Oof. So you gotta be careful. Real careful. Because this paint is so thin right now that if you touch it too hard, it's gonna try to mush up on you. And it will. And when that happens, I'll show you how to fix it in just a minute. But now if you end up with, you know, little heavier spots on some limbs than you do others that's not really a big deal because you know some limbs are going to catch a little more snow than others but so that's not really something to worry yourself to death over but this is such a light touch I mean it's just in here and back out just in here and back out just, just like so. And you're just kind of touching it random. And let it just get on some of these, these limbs and it'll, if you're gentle enough with it, it'll give it that, it'll just give it that needle look. It'll do that almost automatically. And we'll bring this color down. And we'll stop it right there at the bottom. Just like that. Just be mindful to knock some of that color off your brush from time to time too. Because if not, it'll... Uh, It'll gum up on you too. Alright, I'm gonna come up here. Same thing. Just real light. 
You can just stay down the middle. Remember, that's where we put our color at. Until you get a little further down. And then you can kind of go side to side some. But it's important that we leave dark up here. We just want a little indication of of little uh, needles. Like this snow is just covering these little needles up. And if this color kind of gets gray on you a little, don't don't worry about that. It don't have to be solid white. Because we got so much dark color up here that that light gray is even going to appear white. So. Right, and we'll stop it right there at the bottom. <coughs> and I see a couple places up through here we can we can make just a little wider. Not many, but a couple. Just like so. Now this one here, if you'll remember, is the one we only came halfway down on him and uh gave him a totally different look than the rest of them. I'm going to pick up just a little more liquid white because you don't want this color to get real, real thin on you. Okay. I'll come up here and just barely touch him now. And we'll bring his highlights right down to the middle. Then we'll stop just like that. Because that's about where he, uh, where we stopped him at a while ago. Oh, and make sure the tip of your brush don't get contaminated with stuff, too. Because I was doing this one day on a painting, and I had something stuck to the end of my brush. And I didn't see it until it was too late. And it... It kind of messed me all up there for a minute or two. I had some stuff I had to go back and fix. All right. I'm going to start working this one down a little bit. I hope y'all can see this. And I'm holding this brush way out on the end so I'm not being too, uh, too heavy handed with it. Because this is a very light touch right here. Very light. But I want these trees to look like they're kind of heavily covered in snow back here. Just like so. And I'm just coming down and just barely touching. It's really important that we leave some dark color in here. Because if we cover up all this dark, it's just going to look like a big solid white glob of paint back here, and that's not going to look like we want it to. Okay, now let me get some of this off. See right up here where I had that bad spot? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right over here in this dark color. And we'll pick just a little of the dark color up on the thalo brush, on the filbert brush. And we'll come up here and just tap the dark color back in. Just like so. Then when I get that dark limb back in there, I'll come back over here then and get me a little white. And come right back. And just barely touch and just like that it fixed it and that's all there is, that's all there is to it all right now i'll drop that filbert brush into the thinner i'll come back over here and pick up the little 
one inch brush we were using a minute ago and I'm going to take it and dab it straight down into the blue again I mean the white again and I'm going to come up here and leave just a little dark and I'm going to come across here and just pull some of this color out just like so pull it over towards the uh, other color here grab some of this and just very easily pulling this color across I don't want to go into my other bushes over here I just want to I just want to pull this color across and just be real real gentle not to get any other color over here so this is a soft stroke about like so and then just kind of just kind of let these colors work their way out just like so I'm gonna make this look like it kind of turns in here like so like we got a bank that's just turning turning around in here just, just like so and just come in here and smooth everything out And then very, very gently come in here with this, you pull this color over as close to these as you can get without creating havoc. Just real lightly. I wish I'd have done this before I put this in here. But I didn't. But I still think the effect will be here. We just want this just want this bank to look like it. I'll tell you what I can do. I can take that little that little blender brush of mine and I can do it with it. And it won't mess up nothing. Because I want this color to to maintain that that look. Ooh. Took the top off that little fella, didn't we? You have to be careful. More careful than me apparently. Alright, then just kinda let it let it fade away up here. Just like so. Just let them blend together. That'll look like shadow. This other color just look like it's pulling on around. Just like so. Just like that. That looks like a good place to go sledding, don't it? Alright, now, I guess since I got this little brush, I'll come up here and take some straight white on it. And I'll come across up here and I'll just pile some snow on up here. Just, just pile it on. Just all across here. I'm not being, not being real careful with it, just coming up here just pushing some solid white on up here. Just like so. Then I'll knock that off the brush. And 
and I'll come up here and I'll just start blending it across real light and just just let it be a little taller in places back here just kind of make it look like like snow piled up back here and grab some more in different places and just just let it look like a lot of snow piled up back here in different places just back and forth real light Like right in here, if you got a little high spot, you know, oh well, it happens. And just pull this color up in here. Just let it work around in here. Just like so. And if there's spots you need a you know some more thicker white, just put it in there. And just have it look like just have it look like snow's piled up in different places out here. And just like so. That's all you gotta do. Now I'll grab my script liner brush and I'll bring it over here into the dark colors that we were using. And I will put a, a mark on it. And we'll take our knife and come up here and scrape us in some sticks and twigs. Just here and there. Don't take many. And just like that, we have a very cold paint. Let's see if I can lay some of that out with that knife. Make it look a little better. Oh, yeah, look right. That looks good. Alright, this is a very, very, very simple painting that uh, anybody that wants to paint can do. I mean, it's not a hard painting at all. Um, it's it's something just to let you be free, just to have just to have some fun painting. That's all it is, and it's an effective little painting, but yet it's still fun. Alright guys, um, I am going to check out what's going on with this weather and uh, see if I can figure it out and I will see y'all next time on Painting with Harold and thank y'all very much for joining me.